Hello, my dear parishioners and friends. There are two parts to this message, so stay with me to the end, please. Normally, the day before Easter, this church behind me smells like sausage and other delicious food from the Easter basket blessings during the day. Sadly, it doesn't today because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have prayed together remotely for the last few weeks, and this Holy Week has been like none before. I am sure you'll remember it for the rest of your lives. The entire campus, both church and school, are so empty and lifeless without you and our students. I miss you and I look forward to seeing you again to celebrate in our beautiful church. As I invite you to join me virtually tonight for the Easter Vigil to begin our celebration, I want to wish you Happy Easter. Someone told me this past week, don't worry, Father, that your church will be empty on Easter. So is the tomb of Jesus. I reflected on it and I thought that empty tomb gave us all hope and new life. We draw strength from that emptiness and we know something greater is coming. May the risen Christ help us to overcome this pandemic, to resume our normal life of service and dedication to our loved ones, our church and our country. Happy Easter to you and to your families. Stay healthy and once again thank you for your generous support of our church in this time of crisis. God bless. And now the second part, which is a surprise for you. Right across from this church, my new home, which is the parish rector, is almost ready to move in. I've been on the exile for the last two years and I am looking forward to being at home. I've kept busy for the last few weeks wrapping up this project and I am very grateful to all the parish contractors and beyond that work hard the last five winter months to deliver it. They feel very proud to be part of it, and I hope that you appreciate them as much as, as much as I do. Because of stay-at-home order, you may not have a chance to drive by, so I will give you a little preview to enjoy. Stay with me. When the pandemic is over and life goes back to normal, I will have you over to see it inside. Thank you to all who have made this rectory a reality with your generous donation toward it. And it's never too late for anyone to come on board. God bless and once again, Happy Easter.